artistically, if it's kind of that thing where you want to put something down in the corner of the image that says uh, that this was created by you and maybe you're copywriting it or, you know, don't distribute it or that sort of thing. Um, and uh, yes, we do support watermarking uh, directly in the program. Okay, and there's the last one here, and I apologize. There are quite a few questions there, and we will try to follow up with everyone. Um, we'll put together a document uh, answering the questions that have come up throughout the webinar, and then email that out to everyone. But just for your last one, Craig, um, can you explain what the histogram feature is? Histograms are basically a graphical view of the, the data that's inside the picture. And the histogram generally there's there's a couple of different types of histograms but uh, generally it's going to show you the the darkest part of the image to the lightest part of the image and basically how many pixels are in each of those areas so if you have a, a night scene of fireworks it's going to be predominantly at the the left side or the dark side of the histogram and if you have something that has that is very very bright it's going to be predominantly at the right side of the uh, of the histogram so uh, it, it visually shows you the data that's, that's in the image. The places that it's very useful is that normalization or stretching the histogram gives you, a, gives you the best overall use of the color space in many regards. Some cases you don't want it, like in that fireworks shot, but if the, the image is just a little bit dark, going in with one of the tools like levels or curves and adjusting the histogram or one of the other histogram tools we have uh, and stretching out that histogram and or modifying how, uh, how, the, the, how much data is in each part of the histogram will give you a more balanced image overall. That's great, Craig. Thanks very much. Uh, again, I apologize we can't get to everyone's questions this evening, but uh, I will be putting together a document uh, to answer all the questions that were received in our um, webinar today and sending that out to everyone as soon as possible. Very good. Well, thank you everyone for attending. I uh, really appreciate it uh, and I hope you've both got a, had a chance to learn something. You can see what we can do with this particular version of the product and uh, hopefully again maybe we've uh, inspired you a little bit to, to go out to, to do some more with photography and uh, find it the, the enjoyable hobby that it is as well as, you know, all of those other purposes that you might have for shooting photos. So thank you everyone and uh, good night.